good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma Sick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. And today we are back with one of these videos that you love. You love a come shop with me, you love a little mooch around you through. Watch my friends Adam and Gary have got great Disney videos. You love a mimoucherie. So we're gonna have a little look around the Disney stuff in Primark. So a Disney 100 range has come out. I also saw on TikTok there is some amazing, amazing, amazing new home wear out. So I want to have a look at that as well. If you do not know what Mary Hill is, Mary Hill is like a really big shopping centre in the West Midlands, um, Dudley Way. And brilliant. I've turned up today and the car park, you, this is TMI, but I'm telling you anyway, this car park was closed for ages and you always had to kind of scrabble around and find a car park. But now they've done the car park. It's all nice and new and fancy and it's got nice lights in. <laughs> so I'm really pleased I managed to get a spot. <laughs> so we're going to have a little look around the Primark and see what we can get our hands on. No idea if I'm going to get anything. I do want to get myself a new brolly, but I just really want to have a little look. There is a rumour, one of you direct messaged me, and also um, I saw a friend this morning, and she said there's a Disney cafe in this Primark now. I don't know if it is opened or not as yet. If it has opened, I will show you what it's like. Um, if it's not open, that's definitely something we can come and do again together the one in birmingham city center which is my closest primark has got a disney cafe and it is lovely you get mickey waffles you can get um like fruit salad things with mickey melon heads so let's have a little look around i am doing both the kids bedrooms at the moment so i might see if there's anything for my girl to go in her bedroom when that's all finished so right got my stuff i've got my big thick coat and i'm hoping i'm not going to be too hot but it's a bit of a cold day let's have a little look around primark all the rumors are true yeah there is a primark cafe in mary hill it's in upstairs right in the corner it has a couple of really cute photo opportunities outside nice big poster in the big mickey ears the menu is cute loads of nice hot drinks and snacks perfect to pop in and have a nice little brunch take your little kiddos in there heck go in there yourself i will definitely be visiting again loved this big mickey just as you walk in which again is great for a photo op I had a little mooch around the Disney Kids stuff, which I don't always do on these videos, but this Winnie the Pooh collection is beautiful and perfect for your babies or baby showers. Also, there is a really, really, look at that purple bag. I wish I'd focused on that a bit more. There's a beautiful 100 years Disney range in the kids. I will say it's a bit smaller sizes than my two kids, but this jacket, I was looking because my boy would just love that loads of this is perfect for a disneyland paris trip when it's a little bit chillier and of course the t-shirts are always great for walt disney world they had a lot of brilliant marvel tops i love this black panther one um just a plain marvel went you know now there is the um, avengers campus in disneyland paris as well these would be absolutely perfect then i made my way downstairs and i was like guys where is the Disney 100 range? There is so much Disney stuff at the moment in Primark. So many tracksuit, jogging bottoms, beautiful jumpers. Really, really, really great. Again, we don't have a Disneyland Paris trip booked in. Oh, I thought that would be great for Universal. We don't have a Disneyland Paris trip booked in. But if we did, I would definitely be getting some of this. And we will probably be going towards the end of the year. That jacket... I was tempted, but they did not have it in my size. And I was thinking, what would I wear it with? What would you wear that with? Jeans, maybe? Love this T-shirt. Thought it would be perfect with some leggings. Um, if you're going running or if you're just going for a walk. Really lovely for um, airport as well. These tracksuits are perfect for travelling in. They had loads of totes. I loved this Donald tote. I think Donald's a bit underrated, to be honest. He's always a really good character meeting group. If you ever go and meet Donald, wear something Mickey related and he gets cross and it's hilarious. Love the bags. This bag is perfect for traveling. You can pop your phone, passports, a bit of money in. And this is a great, a really good lounge fly dupe. Again, with the 100 years on. 
I liked this t-shirt coming up and this is something I would consider getting for me, Stephen and the kids as like a matching one. I thought it was a really great design. Love this jumper as well. There wasn't quite so many sizes in some of the jumpers, but that is gorgeous, again with the tracksuit bottom. And I thought this was really nice as well. If you're going on one of the cruises, they have like an, is it called the animators palette? This would be fab to wear there, perfection. Then I went and had a little look at the jamas. Loads of really cute jamas in. I thought these were some beautiful Valentine's pajamas. Would be nice for a gift or like a Galentine's gift. Some cute makeup bags. All sorts of Disney pajamas, ones I've not seen before and that aren't quite as fleecy as the winter ones. Thought these slippers were great as well for another Valentine's gift or if you get your kiddos a gift for Valentine's or your friends. This kind of Louis, is it Louis Vuitton, would you say? Fake bag, loved it, great for traveling, would make a great airport bag if you are going on a trip soon. Then I popped down to the home where I was looking for a bit of storage and I find Primark has some brilliant storage, reasonably, really, really reasonably priced. And I loved these baskets here, which are great for storage in the kids' bedroom. They actually stack. They do do similar in home bargains. I love this frame but everyone I found was just absolutely battered. And it was only about two or three pound. It was such a shame that it was perfect for my little girl's room. There's lots of neutral stuff in at the moment in the kitchenware, which is really, really nice. They did have a Valentine section, which had some mugs, popcorn. <laughs> that mug is so weird. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh, fake flowers, candles, and just some really nice, um, you know, treats for valentines or galentines if you celebrate with your friends i also popped over to the section where they do um smellies and i picked up a couple of those next i went to bath and body works i thought you know what i'm gonna go it's not far i'm gonna go to bath and body works so I popped into bath and body works they did have a sale on but i did a big order i think boxingdale online so i got a lot of stuff online in the bath and body works sale Still waiting for it to be delivered, but as soon as it gets here, I will show you. But they had a lot of stuff, you know, on sale, which was nice. Nothing that was too exciting. And also the hand washes online and in store at the time I filmed this video was two for £13, which is great. I always put stuff like that on my stories. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Five for £14. Hand sanitizers, they don't have that exciting flavours. Loads of nice new candles in. I love the strawberry pound cake. I get a bit disappointed because in America, they just come in like nicer covers, if that makes sense, like nicer pots. They're a little bit, they're a little bit boring here. So that's a shame. Warm vanilla sugar. Now I got this in the sale, but they seem to change the packaging because I got some for my, um, my little girl. This sun-drenched linen was phenomenal. Highly recommend, but I am not paying. £30 for a candle, I will wait. Guys, that was interesting because uh, I just kept getting lost. <laughs> this used to be my local here every week. I work around the corner. Shopping centre, I used to come here all the time. Today, I was looking for, for escalators that weren't there. I couldn't find the toilets. I didn't know which way I was going. It was whole thing i was sweating profusely in a massive coat unsure if it's hot in there unsure if i'm perimenopausal who knows but i had to like strip all my coat off i had to grab a snack and eat it because i was like hungry you know when you're like you feel a bit you you're hot and you're delirious you walk around a shopping center anyway i'm here i'm settled let's show you the bits and bobs i got the first thing i got for steven Mr. Stephen Conway is, I've got him a nice pretzel. If you've never had a Mr. Pretzel's pretzel, do it, get it in your life, it's gorgeous. Vanilla sugar. Hand rolled soft pretzels, so tasty. It says it, so tasty, and it's not wrong, it's right. <laughs> I also am a sucker for a nice tote. If I see, if I get to a till, and there's a nice tote for one or two pounds, to put my shopping in, I'm getting it. That is delightful it's quite a good storage one as well delightful and i know a tween who will really want that so um first of all 
I will say I didn't get any of the Disney 100 stuff. We don't have, we do have a Disney trip planned, but it's to Florida and it's much later in the year. Uh, and we've not got any plans to Disneyland Paris at the moment. So it just seemed a bit bonkers to buy loads of Disney stuff just to sit in my house. Because Primark, one thing we know about Primark is it's always going to have Disney stuff in. So they didn't, it didn't seem like an urgent, I didn't feel urge, the urgent urge the urgent urge to buy stuff so i didn't get any of these 100 stuff i did really like it i like some of the t-shirts i was very tempted by one t-shirt which i really liked the design of which was all the gang and i thought i could get one for the each of the four of us and we could have like a matching t-shirt on holiday that was the only thing i was really tempted to buy and also i did like the kind of the bag that was like that which would be great for traveling that would be perfect to have like your phone, to have your purse. There's a car pulling up next to me. They're probably like, Who, what, sh what is she talking about? Who's she talking to? I'm talking to my friends, back off. Uh, so I was tempted by that. So maybe if I go back, I might get that. But I do have a lot of Disney bags, so I didn't get anything. But I like the look of it. Okay, what I did get was, I walked into the home section. It smelled delightful and it was the smell of peony. Let's just do this, make sure these, I don't. Um, I could fit, Madonna's actually just pulled up next to me, I just wanted to hide her, uh, you know, hide her, give her privacy. Could you imagine Madonna bowling up to uh, a shopping centre in the Midlands? Right, Peony, it was gorgeous, £2.50. Um, shall I see what the bottle looks like? So we have the full experience. Now, bearing in mind, the Yankee Candle ones are like... 16.99s and the one in home bargains are i got one the other day didn't no where did i get them the other day dinner was it and they were like five quid i can't remember and it... do you want to have a little look madonna's gone now we're all right have a lovely day i love uh, my favorite song of yours is um express yourself peony primark peony nice gold top lovely £2.50. I can't smell it because it's got the lid on and I don't, won't open it in the car. I got one for my bedroom and one for my girl's bedroom because she, we, bedrooms sometimes smell. Let's be honest, bedrooms sometimes smell and we don't want that. We want to have a nice, fragrancy bedroom. Okay, what else did I grab? Uh, we are doing my boys' bedroom, which you either will have seen or it's in the next video coming up and it is a red and black theme spoiler so i got some of these great storage boxes they are brilliant he has got some three sets of shelves and i thought this would be fab to keep bits and bobs in i really like these this was three pound you can get similar to these in home bargains but i really like the red ones i have been fiddling around in my kitchen and for £3.50, I picked up some nice pink tea towels. There is a bit of a pastel vibe going on at the moment. I liked them. <laughs> and they're £3.50. And I just thought these would be really pretty. It's kind of decked out a bit Valentine's at the moment, I would say. Hearts and pink and just loveliness. And I thought these were nice and simple and basic and cute and lovely. And I like them. Okay. I actually popped a boot, so I'll show you that in a bit. So, Emma is going to tell you a boring story. It's not boring, it's just life. I have to have a lot of things next to my bed at night, because in the morning, I take evening primrose oil, which helps with like perimenopause and PMS and stuff like that. I also take magnesium, which I'm currently trialling to help with my sleep. We'll keep you posted, I think you have to do it for eight weeks. So I have not got really much to say about it at the moment. I also have, currently, I have um, antibiotics because my ears went a bit funny. And I also have to have my brown inhaler, which I take before um, sleep and when I wake up, and my blue inhaler. So this is going to sit on my little side table with all my little bits and bobs in. I will also put a sleepy spray in, probably some tissues. That's hashtag life. £3.50. I love a little storage basket. Small square basket. I also popped two boots and I got these on my points. 
Um, no, I've got this on my points. I needed some Flawless Finishing Loose Powder Translucent. I use this powder every day when I put my makeup on to set all my foundation to my face so it just doesn't slide down during the course of the day. So I've got that with my points. I had 14 pound points. I was thrilled. And then not with my points, I picked up Lasting Perfection Concealer in Ivory because I have been using Fair and I noticed that the fair was like pure white. And sometimes when I was having photos taken, it was just all white here. It was just too light, so I got the ivory one. And that is it. That's your lot, that's what I got. So yeah, didn't get any Disney stuff, but if we have a Paris trip at some point, I will definitely pop back. I will definitely pop back, um, you know, Florida time, but and get some bits and bobs. Uh, the kids definitely will need a few new t-shirts. I will say the Disney cafe in the, the upstairs, it was it was adorable, but it was tiny, but it was adorable. So if you are in this area and you wanna go around the shopping center, it's indoors, so you can come around, you won't get wet. Well, most of it's indoors. If you go up the top, there's like a home sense and a home bargains and all sorts of, that's outdoors. But indoors, you've got your Primark, you've got all shops like that. Uh, new look, the world's biggest necks. We went to Bath and Body Works. I didn't get anything from Bath and Body Works because I am awaiting a flipping. I did the next sale, I think, on Boxing Day, and I ordered loads of Bath and Body Works stuff. And it was like, it will be with you by the 26th of January. Still not here. When it gets here, I'll show you. And so there's no point me getting anything because I've already got stuff come in so but I just thought I'd have a little show you a little around a little bit have a little look I still do think it I know there was a bit of disagreement in the comments but I still do think it's more expensive than America 30 pounds for a candle is quite a lot of money when you can get a Yankee candle for you know around 20 quid and in home bargains you can get Yankee candles for like five pounds candle chat maybe I should start a podcast where I just talk about candle prices <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a smash hit. And if you're still here, you're amazing. I love you. I will chat with you in the comments. I will be back in a few days for another video. Oh my God, Madonna's coming back. I better go. Love you.